This morning, Russia's foreign minister raising new alarm, saying the conflict in Ukraine could further escalate into World War III. Sergei Lavrov in an interview with state-run media warning the risk for a nuclear war is now very significant. Quote, the danger is serious. It is real. It cannot be underestimated. Adding that he would not like to see the risk be artificially inflated. The chilling warning coming as the U.S. and NATO allies ramp up military aid to Ukraine to fend off the intensifying Russian attacks. We want to see Russia uh, uh, weakened uh, to the degree that it can't uh, do the kinds of things that uh, it has done uh, in, in invading Ukraine. During a previously unannounced visit to the war zone, top American officials telling President Zelensky hundreds of millions of dollars in more aid is on the way. Powerful U.S. provided weapons also arriving on the battlefield. The Kremlin cautioning that NATO weapons deliveries are essentially a proxy war against Russia and that its armed forces will consider the warehouses storing the weapons as legitimate targets for attack. Ukraine's foreign minister on Twitter blasting the threats, writing, quote, Russia loses last hope to scare the world off supporting Ukraine. And this only means Moscow senses defeat in Ukraine. As the Russian attacks escalate in central and western Ukraine, Russian forces also trying to stop the flow of weapons to the front lines. At least five railway stations and fuel sites caught in the crosshairs. Ukrainian officials say Russian shelling killed at least five people in the region. In Kharkiv, volunteers seen trying to help this elderly woman out of a bombed-out apartment. And Russia continues suffering massive losses in the face of Ukraine's intense resistance. According to the British Defense Secretary, more than 15,000 Russian troops have died since this invasion. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.